Basecamp Project Management, how to use Basecamp. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a quick look at how you can get started with Basecamp. So let's get into it. Now to get started with Basecamp, simply head on over to Basecamp.com, click on try Basecamp for free, it is available for free and you can choose any kind of package that you want. Once you do that, you will just enter your name and your email address and the organization name. Once you do that, you will click on set up your password. And once you have created a successful password, you will just wait for your Basecamp account to be set up. It only takes a couple of seconds for the setup to be completed. Now, once you have done that, you will be able to see your Basecamp account. Now, Basecamp is amazing to schedule and manage your day-to-day -day in your business, in your projects. And especially when I was doing clothing launches, I have used Basecamp because it can be just so helpful to have everything planned out already in my project, in my uh, creative design as well. So you will be able to see the homepage, then you will have a lineup. The lineup basically allows you to get a uh, visual representation of work according to the time. It's basically a Gantt view. Then you have your pings, which is basically chats. Then you have your basic news section, activity section, and then you have your my stuff section. So anything that has been assigned to you can be managed from here. Now let's go to our home section and click on make a new project to get started with our business or project management. Let's say for us, we are trying to get started with a new project, which might be, let's say for us, it's our online store sale or so let's say we are doing online store revamp and then we are going to add our description. So, so after that, we are going to add a project schedule. If you have a end date in mind when it's supposed to be completed, let's say for us it's the 31st of May and it's getting started on the 2nd of May. And you can choose to change the privacy settings to be invite only. So even people that are invited in your uh, specific boards, only those people that have invite links can be added instead of anyone being able to add anyone via email. But I'm going to click on create this project and now you guys will be able to see this is our new board. So once your board has been created, you will be able to see a message board, to-do list, docs and files, camp file, and your schedule. Now, for anything, it's very essential to start building with docs and files and to-dos. Obviously, if you have plans in mind, if you have documents, invoices, things, all, all of those uh, practical data set needs to be added. So you can click on docs and files over here and then you can get started with uploading documents and creating documents here. But this is a sample space, so I really don't need to do that. But we are going to get started with setting up to-do lists. Now, what you're going to do is you can make a list, which could be ideas and then in this list anyone can write down their ideas you even have multiple different templates that you can get started with so you can click on create a to-do list template and you can choose any template to get started with and that can just help you in just setting up things but i like to do it from scratch so we have this and we're going to just add our first list and in this way, you can add specific lists and specific tasks. So this is ideas and you have color upgrade. And now I can describe in detail what is meant to be done. And you also have specific dates you can add. So this is ideas and it has not been completed. I have added myself. You can click on add and remove people and you can add a specific person to work on this or you can select everyone or select no one. If a task is a group project or everyone is meant to be participating, you can select everyone. But I'm just going to skip it for now because I'm the only person in this uh, base camp project that is working. So once I have my to do set up, so we have ideas, then if I want to create a new list, let's say we have um, to upgrade our online store, we are doing uh, something like uh, new products or so we have new payment getaways that I want to add and I will just click on add to this list. Now when you, with new payment getaways, I want to individually set up each individual payment getaway. So I will just add those. So I want to add individual payment getaways as tick offs that people can tick off. 
So all of these are individual tasks that can be assigned to multiple different people and I can schedule them and assign them and when these tasks are done, let's say I want to be notified. So I want to be notified and I can assign this to any member and I can make this a specific uh, day that it needs to be finished on. Let's say I want to do this on the 13th of May, I can add this to all of the different subtasks that I've created in my to-do list. And now you guys can see, you will have a very clear visual guide to your uh, tasks that need to be accomplished in your project. Now, this is especially helpful in a a task or a project where a lot of group cohesion is required. A lot of the other project management tools are very individualized, but this gives you a good bird's eye view of how far along your project is coming. Now you can see once I've added my to do's with a date, you will even be able to see them in your schedule. And if you scroll down, you can monitor the overall activity that has been completed on your task or project. Now, after that, you have a message board. The message board is different from just chatting. This is going to be a official notification kind of board and you can add any title. So let's say we have a group meeting with a uh, email marketing team and we can add the description of who needs to be there, all that. And you can just click on post this message and this message would be uh, then would be uh, viewable by all of your team members, all of the people working on this project. And this can be a great way to just overall monitor how far along everyone has come. So in this way, you can get started with using Basecamp as your project management tool. Now, just taking a look at Basecamp, we also have this feature called Hey, and on the top, it just gives you all of your notifications. And then in the next section, you have your activity bar. Now in your activity bar, you will be able to monitor all activity that is happening in your project. Uh, and that can be a great way for you to just be updated and provide all of the latest updates. Plus, you can even filter this out, which is not a feature you find in all types of project managers, where you can see a specific person's activity. You can add a, a section where you can just see the to-dos that were completed uh, on that specific day, uh, any kind of upcoming dates or events that you have, then your overdue to-do, so something that had to be done but still has not been done, any specific person's assignments as well. So this can be a great way to keep all of your friends, clients, project managers, anyone that you're working with intact so you can stay up to date on your project and work towards the completion of your project. Now, next up, you have your My Stuff section. Now, if you like to work individually, you can just click on My Assignment to see all of the things you have to do, all of the things you've delegated to other people, as well as your own personal schedule. So a schedule that only has the things that you are supposed to do or things that you are involved in or assigned to. Then you also have your boosts. So with Basecamp, they also give you uh, something that you can post and you can add like little notes of encouragement. So you can upload any kind of GIF or anything just to boost up the overall morale of your team or of yourself. Now, in the next uh, section, you guys can see you have a find section and this can enable you to find any document, any file that you might be looking at, anything that can help you in setting up or if you're trying to find something for a specific client or somewhere along the line, you feel like your project had some issue and you want to find that issue again, you want to find a financial report, you can just type it up over here instead of having to go through all the docs and files that have been uploaded in your base camp. So in this way, you can get started with project management or, you know, running successful projects and businesses on Basecamp. I definitely do think it's one of the best visual project managers out there. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and I will catch you guys in the next video.